Welcome back once again to Spaz Lights to another Lego video. Today, I found a couple of books at my local discount store. We've got these two are from one store. Uh, I believe it's called Ollie's. And then this plate, no, no, no. These two are from Books A Million. And local Books A Million is going out of, out of business or closing up shop. I don't know if they're just changing locations. Um, and then this is from Ollie's, and we're going to open, whoops, all three of these today. We have a Ninjago with a cool minifigure, a Nexo Knights with a cool minifigure. These are activity books, and then we have another Ninjago set. And then as a little bonus, I've got this. I'll show you what that is in just a few minutes. So let's go ahead and uh, crack open these figures here. Let's see, we got scissors here. Do I really need the scissors? Nope. They just pop right out. Okay, boom. Okay, I don't really need instructions for that guy, so we'll just take a quick look. This is called Battle of the Books, and uh, it's got some Nexo Knights stuff in it. I'm not that familiar with Nexo Knights. I might have to look through the lore of Nexo Knights. I know a lot of the sets looked pretty cool, but I just wasn't collecting them at the time. So yeah, there's a lot of cute little activities in here. There's a Oh wow, there's an actual storybook in here. I might have to check that out. And then some other builds and some other stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, set that right there. Let's let's eh, let's pull out the other minifigures before I continue. Uh, come on, there we go. Pull that one out. Another really easy one to put together. I don't need to worry about instructions. Like I said, another activity book, plain and simple. This one is a little different. This one has a minifigure in it, and this is a, a tin. This is metal, which I thought was pretty cool. I used to collect metal tins, but I decided I was just a hoarder and needed to throw some stuff out. I will be keeping this one for obvious reasons. It is licensed Lego, and uh, yeah, I still gotta hoard some things. There on the back, three amazing books and a gift minifigure, a stone vermilion warrior minifigure, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and open our tin up and get our minifigure out of here. Boom, here he is. He comes in a little Lego poly bag. Then we also have the three little books here. And this one, I guess, originally came with the figure because the other two don't see anything on there. So, cool. Um, I don't think, no, I don't really need to, uh, keep those out for instructions. And then you just got your cute, it's an empty tin, but it's cool. So we'll keep our books in there. I wonder if our other activity books will fit in there. I'm going to have to look through those. I'm not sure what, uh, series this is from, but yeah, let's go ahead and build our minifigures. Let's start with our Ninjago Vermilion Vermilion Warrior, whatever the heck it said he was. <laughs> I already forgot. He's got a lot of cool stuff here. He's got really cool printed uh, whole whole outfit is printed. It's awesome. The, oh, cool. Look at that. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, let's see. He gets a cool armor with a uh, stud on the back, which is cool. Here is his head. He's got some snake fangs. Oh, he's got... Oh, I like that face better. <laughs> We're going to switch around to that face. That looks cool. And then he's got a wicked helmet as well that goes flush to the edge of the armor, which is pretty neat. And then his uh, weapon is... You put the axe head on the other side. Or no, whoops, sorry. This goes up here. And then he also has the axe here. So he's got like a double, a double bladed axe. I think I did that right. I'm going to have to double check. Let me look at the picture again and see. Yeah, I did that right. Except I have to twist this the other way. There we go. That's his uh, his weapon, and that looks that is freaking sweet. I like that minifigure. He's so cool. 
<laughs> and his armor is awesome. Oh, okay. Now this guy, Nexo Knights, is pretty awesome as well. Uh, let's see, how do I... Okay, it pops open. This one's even easier. He's got even less to worry about in his build. So let's go ahead and put him together. He's got... I like that spine of lava or magma or whatever. And then he's got like... That's got to be like a 12-pack or something on his chest. He's chiseled. <laughs> and then he gets some cool spiked shoulder guards... And there's his head. He looks like a scary pumpkin, and then he's also got a crack on the back, which is kind of cool. That just looks cool. I kind of wish he had a helmet, but that's fine. And then he gets these cool fist gauntlets that are just... They make him look like he's got giant pounding rock fists. Roar! He looks so cool, too. Ah! Okay, and then here's our third minifigure, another Ninjago. Not sure what um, series this particular uh, minifigure is from, but he gets a shooter, which is cool. And come on, get the head out. Boom. Okay, let's see. Arm, arm. And then he gets a cool bandana. I like these bandanas. They go around the neck. Neckerchiefs, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he's only got one face, which is fine. And then, boom. And then I have to build his gun. Let's see. He's got... He's got a stud shooter gun. But I need to look and figure out what this is. So give me a second here to find... Is this it? Yes, what are those two pieces for? They go on the gun. Okay. Okay, cool. So it doesn't actually come with an extra stud. So I need to take that off. This is a really neat build. This goes here like that and then this goes here and then he has an orange stud here and an orange stud here and then that's his gun Ugh, come on if I can make him hold it there we go and I don't know what that is supposed to be but there's his gun <laughs> I wonder if that's... it can't be a sight, and he needs to hold it sideways to even shoot it. But there's our three minifigures from our uh, books and various activity guides. Now, I've got a very special gift here. Uh, not a gift. Well, the gift for me. Uh, I found this finally, and I'm very excited about it. I got this for pre-ordering... Uh, Lego Batman 2, I believe, or might be Lego Batman 3. I've got my original Lego Lex Luthor here. And he's got a really cool gun for his build. Uh, if I can remember how it goes together. It's a little dusty. That's not right. Does it go like that? Wow, I'm actually going to have to look it up and figure out where it goes. This attaches to this somewhere. <laughs> not sure where. So, I'm going to have to look that up. I don't think it goes like this. It might go like this. Yeah, I think it goes like that. And, pardon the dust, it was sitting displayed for quite a long time on my shelf. And, uh, yeah, there's Lego Lex Luthor in his Luthor armor. It also comes with four little black bricks. Because I think his power has something to do with uh, constructing black bricks. And he's one of the only people who can construct and destruct the black bricks in the, uh, the original Lego Batman 3. So let's zoom out a little and see all of our minifigures here, including Lego Lex Luthor. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I have a lot of fun doing these. I know I don't get too many views. Maybe someday. If you look back and see this in a few years and you wonder why I'm talking about no views, 
and it's got a lot, well, yay, it means I hit it big. <laughs> I became a big time YouTuber! Yay! <laughs> anyway, till next time, thanks for watching, and as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands and wear a mask. Very important. Both of those are very important things in order for us to destroy this virus. <laughs> Bye, everybody!